Hey friends, Ash here with Gentsense. Hope you're all doing well. Today, I've got another This Week in Fragrance video where I'm gonna tell you guys about some upcoming new releases, both fragrances that are coming out here in the near future and fragrances that just did drop. In this video, we've got some big ones, new fragrance in the Stronger With You line from Emporio Armani, a new Parfums de Marly, a new Roberto Cavalli, and a new John Varvatos. Lots to talk about, let's jump into it. And let me know guys in the comments below which of these new releases you're most excited for. The new Armani, the new Farvados, the new Parfums de Marly, let me know. The first fragrance I wanna to talk to you guys about today is from Parfums de Marly, their newest flanker, Pegasus Exclusif. So this is the second exclusive fragrance that they've done. Of course, they also came out with Leighton Exclusif. And the idea here behind Pegasus Exclusif pretty much the same thing as it was with the first exclusive. That's a lot of exclusives. So essentially they're taking the Pegasus DNA and they're adding some darker, slightly animalic touches in the base of the fragrance. And there we have it, Pegasus Exclusive. Uh, this is actually on their website now. So it's on Parfums de Marly's website, 125 mils for $375, 75 mils for $290, so not cheap. And this is what their website says about the fragrance. Celebrating strength and masculinity. Opening with a burst of pink pepper and bergamot, the fragrance evolves to an addictive oriental blend of vanilla and bitter almond. Its woody base includes guaiac wood and natural oud, which lends depth and intensity to the composition. And this is something that they've apparently been working on for quite a while. Uh, they had this at Scent Explorer 2019 and had some people checking it out there. I didn't go to Scent Explorer 2019, but I know that a lot of people that did attend uh, were checking out where that fragrance was at at that time. Now here's the full note breakdown. It has a top of pink pepper, bergamot, cardamom, and heliotrope, mid of jasmine, geranium, lavender, and bitter almond and a base of oud, vanilla, sandalwood, guaiac wood, and amber. So with this one, basically, do you like Pegasus? If the answer is yes, you'll probably like this. If you wish that Pegasus had a little more depth to it, a little more richness, a little more of a, maybe an animalic touch, a little darker touch, then check this out. I'm sure the performance on this is gonna be really good and for sure, you're gonna be seeing a lot of reviews on that one pop up on uh, YouTube in the very near future. Next up, let's talk about the new Emporio Armani Stronger With You Leather. This is the second flanker in the Stronger With You line for this year, so obviously this is a line that Armani is really trying to push. Earlier this year, we had a Stronger With You Freeze, and now this one obviously being positioned as more of a fall and wintertime fragrance, which makes sense since it's Stronger With You Leather. Now the note breakdown here is really, really simple, at least what we have access to right now. Three notes, that's it. Elemy in the top, lavender in the mid, leather in the base. So really, really simple. I would imagine, I could be wrong, but I would imagine that there are eventually going to be more notes made known in this fragrance, but it's possible that they're just trying to keep it really simple, which uh, some fragrance houses have been doing lately, keeping their note breakdowns just really as minimal as possible. Let me go ahead and read to you what they say about the fragrance. Emporio Armani Stronger With You Leather unfolds an olfactory chapter as a tribute to the Middle East. Introducing a masculine fragrance, distinctively warm and leathery, Stronger With You Leather is a new golden statement which is why the bottle is just all gold. A refined concentrate of addiction and sensuality. Stronger With You Leather captures the luxurious allure of leather, one of the most sensual and sophisticated accords in perfumery. Elemy gives the fragrance an exotic yet refined opening, while Lavendin rounds up its aromatic and masculine heart. So Lavendin and Lavender, not the exact same things. Lavendin is actually a hybrid, so slightly different than having lavender in the mid, but it's it's close enough that 
99% of people won't care. Now, one thing that some people are definitely not gonna be pumped about here, this new fragrance is exclusive to the Middle East. It shows a 50 mil pricing at $93 and 100 mils at $122. It's an eau de parfum. So that means it's gonna be a little harder to get in North America. Now, there have been designer houses that have released Middle East exclusives in the past that you've been able to get without too much trouble after they've been out for a while. So just because this is exclusive to the Middle East does not mean it's gonna be impossible to get. It does mean that it will probably be more difficult to get. It's not gonna be super duper easy, but I think over time it should, it should pop up at discounters in the US. And obviously one thing missing there is going to be that chestnut accord, that chestnut note that a lot of people are going to associate with the Stronger With You line. So I guess we'll have to wait and see if that's in there. And guys, also, in case you were unaware, I also have a fragrance line coming out that I've been working on. I'm gonna leave links in the description to the videos where I talk about the particular fragrances, each individual one. So I've been doing videos where I tell the perfumer behind the fragrance, the notes of the fragrance, and also how the fragrance comes across. So that's gonna be coming out in the near future, so I figured I'll cover that too. And after I do the first seven videos where I break down each fragrance, I'll do another one with all the good details, the uh, house name, the fragrance names, the release, all that good stuff. Next up, let's talk about the new fragrance from Roberto Cavalli. Now, Cavalli doesn't get talked about a ton as far as designer fragrances go, but they have some really good ones. Uh, Womo La Note, one that I really, really enjoy, and then there's also Deep Desire. That one's good, and the original Womo is good as well. So it's not a house you should just automatically write off. So Cavalli's releasing this as a fragrance pair, Paradise Found, both for women and for men and they're designed to evoke the exotic scents of tropical flowers and plants and to create an illusion of escapism in lush, surrealistic gardens. Nice. The new fragrances come in fully lacquered bottles of magenta and deep green with column-shaped stoppers that point to the striking architecture of Las Pozas, the Mexican rainforest gardens where the uh, ad campaign is shot. So I'll quickly run through the notes for women and then get to the men's uh, version of this fragrance. For the women's, its top has pink pepper and aroli and the unexpected accord of a palm leaf, which leads to a heart of white flowers and a base of sandalwood. The men's version of Paradise Found has a top of pimento and green notes, a mid of clary sage patchouli and cashmere, and, and a base of musk and ambergris. Not a super complex note breakdown there. Uh, cashmere and musk ambergris, which I imagine is going to be a good dose of ambroxan. Probably gonna have a, a warm, fuzzy, modern kind of dry down. Can't imagine it's gonna be anything super groundbreaking. And then most of the rest of the, the notes here lean toward like green and fresh, most likely, at least initially in the opening. Uh, so I'd be lying to you if I said the note breakdown really intrigued me a whole lot, but I'm still gonna check it out and hope that it's a surprise. All right, next up, let's check out this new Varvados. This one is Varvados XX Artisan. And the bottle looks like Artisan Pure, only all done up in silver. So this is the second Varvados fragrance to be announced here recently. There was also Varvados XX. Now we have XX Artisan from the house. This celebrates expert craftsmanship, style, and music. Fragrance joins style and music as the ultimate self-expression, elements of escape, discovery, interpretation, and connection, each a representation of who you are. Yeah, Barbados is talking to you. With individuality, passion, rebellion, freedom, peace, and love, revel in your journey with the Barbados XX Artisan Edition. Long live rock and roll. Of course, XX standing for their um, their 20th anniversary, which I guess the way you would actually read this is Varvados 20 Artisan, Roman numerals, not XX, but I just like saying XX. Fresh, aromatic, and uplifting, the new fragrance from John Varvados. There's a write-up from the house here, but it basically just repeats five or six times how fresh the fragrance is. 
how stimulating it is, how uplifting it is, just keeps repeating it. So I won't read through that because that's just gonna be kind of a mess. We'll go through the notes instead. In the top, there's bergamot and bitter orange. In the mid, geranium, wormwood, and Sichuan pepper. And in the base, musk, cedar, and vetiver. So obviously, this fragrance is going into the artisan line of fragrances from Varvedos. Those are mainly summertime fragrances, spring and summer. Uh, great daytime fragrances, great casual fragrances, office safe as well. And this one, even though it's done up in the bottle style of artisan pure, uh, I don't know looking at the note breakdown that this really is gonna be tied in with that fragrance other than it's just gonna be uh, a warm weather scent. I've talked about Varvedos a bunch on this channel. Typically their fragrances are really nice quality, very wearable, and when they hit discounters, they're priced very competitively. So I'll be on the lookout for this one. And I imagine it will probably be at uh, retail stores here in the very, very near future. I also wanna bring up the new fragrances in the Bentley Beyond collection. These are based around flowers. So I think they're, they're leaning more toward the feminine side of things. I believe they're actually being marketed towards women, but the first three fragrances in the Beyond collection were very, very nice. So I wanna to touch on these as well. The first three were Exotic Musk, Majestic Cashmere, and then Wild Vetiver, which was my personal favorite. Then they had Rich Pimento that came out earlier this year. And now these three are joining those. And the new ones are Mellow Heliotrope, Radiant Osmanthus, and Vibrant Hibiscus. And I do like the bottles here. They have like a nice sort of uh, gradient where it goes more toward a frosted look at the bottom of the bottle, looks really nice. Mellow Heliotrope has a top of Italian bergamot, mandarin orange, cassis, and gardenia, a mid of raspberry, pink pepper, and elemi, and a base of heliotrope, violet leaves, ambrette, vanilla, and praline, which sounds pretty good, even if it is maybe more of a feminine scent. Radiant Osmanthus has a top of neroli, Italian mandarin, and lemon, mid of osmanthus, wild jasmine, and peach, and a base of cedar, white amber, sandalwood, and musk. And then last but not least, vibrant hibiscus. Top of cassis, Italian bergamot, mandarin orange, and violet leaves. Mid of hibiscus, red peony, uh, jasmine, damask rose, and lily of the valley, and a base of sandalwood, patchouli, musk, and moss. That one obviously a little heavier on the florals. And these came out in September, so they should be hitting anytime now at discounters uh, as the previous releases in this line or collection rather did. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. See you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.